Jeep will follow the launch of the new Wrangler with an all-new Cherokee, its first pickup and the return of the Grand Wagoneer by 2020, by which point the firm will also offer a plug-in hybrid version of every model in its range. The US brand is the world's largest SUV maker and is using the launch of its most iconic model, the Wrangler, replaced for the first time since 2006 as a springboard for further growth towards annual sales of 2 million, up from 1.4 meters in 2016. Speaking to Auto Car during the Wrangler's launch at last year's Los Angeles Motor Show, Jeep boss Mike Manley confirmed the new models due in the next three years, with the period beyond 2020 likely to include the firm's first electric car. First, Jeep is about to launch the Compass in the UK. Manley calls it the latest compounding building block around boosting the brand in the UK and mainland Europe, the star example being the firm's most successful model, the Renegade. Manley said the new Compass, a Nissan Qashqai, sized model, is crucial for the brand as it competes in Europe's largest segment. It will be followed this time next year by an all-new Cherokee which sits above the Compass in Jeep's range. Also in 2018, Jeep will launch a mild hybrid 48 volts version of every model in its lineup. Each will be powered by a 2.0-litre turbocharged four-cylinder petrol engine and mild hybrid system that allows for improved torque delivery for off-road driving, better fuel economy and quieter on-road manners. According to Manley, by 2020, Jeep will have launched a plug-in hybrid version of every model in its range, including the Wrangler, the standard version of which will reach the UK next year. Manley wouldn't be drawn on the arrival of pure electric models but said they were inevitable given how economy regulations around the world are tightening. Jeep has recently launched a 679 bhp Trackhawk version of its Grand Cherokee, which, Manley said, is important to give a halo effect to the range. The mark also plans to offer customers more luxurious versions of its cars, including more models in premium summit trim and a return of the range topping Grand Wagoneer 7-seater in 2020, a year after the launch of its first pickup.